Hallelujah. The God is a good God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is a good God. And He's a wonder working God. He's a miracle working God. Hallelujah. You know the Holy Spirit was telling me as we were worshipping uh, this evening. Just a few moments ago. The Holy Spirit told me that you know today is, today is the day of deliverance. Today is the day of deliverance. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of turnarounds in the lives of people. You know, if this word, I, I not even started preaching. Let me tell you, this is what the Holy Ghost is saying this evening. That there are, there are some here who are struggling with some stuff. Got it? Struggling with some stuff. And today is a day of deliverance. You know, but you, you wish you could come. You wish you could come and take me out somewhere and say, you know what, what? Many times I tried, it didn't work. I can hear what the Holy Spirit is telling me. This is what you're thinking. I've tried many times before, but I can't. And let me tell you why it didn't. Because you tried it in your own strength. Today the Holy Spirit is here to set you free. Set you free. In those areas that the enemy would draw you and make you feel miserable. You see, God wants you to know that you are beloved. You are His. You are precious. The God whom we worship, the God whom we love, the God whom we serve, the God who sent His Son Jesus is not a God who condemns us. Hallelujah. He's the one who lifts us up. In fact, His word says He's the glory and the lifter of our head. He's the restorer of our fortunes. In fact, His word is so clear that He's the repairer of broken walls. So our God is a God of fixing business. Hallelujah. He's in the business of fixing the broken hearted to set the captives free. Hallelujah. And so today is a day of turnaround. Today is the day of deliverance. Hallelujah. Today is the day of crossing over. Woo. Hallelujah. The title of my message is Crossover Miracle Worker. Crossover Miracle Worker. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 4 and verse 35. That same day, after it grew dark, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross over. To the other side of the lake. Leaving the crowd behind. The disciples got into the boat. In which Jesus was already sitting. And they took him with them. Other boats sailed with them. Suddenly as they were crossing the lake. A ferocious. I'm reading from the Passion Translation. Sorry. Uh, a ferocious storm arose. With violent winds and waves that were crashing into the boat until it was nearly swamped. But Jesus was calmly sleeping in the stern, resting on a cushion. So they shook him awake, saying, Teacher, don't you even care that we are all about to die? Fully awake, he rebuked the storm and shouted to the sea, Hush, be still. All at once the wind stopped howling and the water became perfectly calm. You have heard this, you have read this many a times. But there is something that the Holy Ghost wants to speak to each one of us this evening. Number, number one, faith tested. Many times people say, I got faith, I got faith. My faith is growing. How is your faith growing without your faith being tested? No, no, no. Don't talk to me about those difficult times, okay? I just want to grow. I don't know anybody who went and saw the gym and came back and, and pumped in a, and got a six pack. Go every day morning, go and look at the gym and come back home. You might put on weight. You need to do something. You need to exercise same way in the spirit. You need to exercise your faith. Now, the background disciple said you know Jesus we had a long day you taught you taught parables and parables we are sitting there you know disciples were very relaxed you know why because they they had access to the front row always some people they go out they come to church go out for a walk go out for a stroll some are still busy making some deals chat 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 looking what happened something has come credit debit busy Disciples also, you know, they were whole day Jesus was teaching, they were 
later we'll we'll get to know we'll ask him he'll tell us directly he doesn't need to teach us in parables yeah jesus talked to them plainly jesus didn't talk to them in parables so sometimes they took him for for granted jesus said wait wait let's get into a boat boat wow okay we need a break you know what we worked very hard today we need to have a great meal we need to party he says yeah there's a party wait, waiting cup come. come sit in the boat your faith needs to be tested you all think you have great faith okay let's see so they got into the boat they got into the the sea of galilee amen that's not a very big sea and all of a sudden there was a storm there the boat was caught into a storm and they had never experienced such a storm were they fishermen yeah they were fishermen was it the first time that they traveled in a boat in the sea of galilee not at all they knew certain seasons when there would be a storm you know when up on the mountains the 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 air would be cooler and down in the, in the sea of galilee it would be warm suddenly because of this change in in in, in temperature there would be a storm created but that they knew this one they did not know you know sometimes storms hit our life what is our first reaction god are you there second why did this storm come third why me it's okay let it come to somebody else why me you know what is this person saying if you are there i don't want my faith to be tested but i'll tell everybody ah yeah nothing will happen that devil i'll kick him and when little some meow comes from here and they like can you pray tell the whole world to pray for me pray for me jesus jesus said hold on let's let's cross over to the other side what did he say he did not say what's going to happen on the other side in fact he didn't even tell them what's going to happen on the way to the other side he said let's cross over this here yeah. okay are you sure what you said hmm? okay let me test you you said you cross over with me ah yeah. okay then let's cross over now they caught in the storm teacher you see what revelation they had some people are stuck with revelation from 1942 teacher there's no lord there's no master teacher why old days influence he taught very well from morning to evening he was talking what stamina he has he's a teacher you see that's the revelation what revelation do you have of who god is who jesus is in your life who the holy spirit is you will respond in accordance to the revelation you have they said teacher you don't care we are dying you are resting you are sleeping we are perishing and what did jesus do jesus if maybe we were in jesus's place first we would have rebuked them correct who spoke disciples spoke rebuke them jesus didn't rebuke them he rebuked the winds and the waves jesus knew where the problem came from jesus knew what was waiting on the other side jesus was preparing miracle workers to cross over not just disciples but miracle workers to cross over jesus told them their condition look how you look like fearful how do you look like you know it's very interesting if you read all the four gospels it speaks of different levels of faith jesus tells you know i have not found such great faith not even in all israel who is he talking about the centurion these talking about to a lady go your faith has healed you woman your faith has made you whole so they and then jesus talking to his disciples you have no faith no not some faith not little faith not great faith no faith No no now Jesus did not tell them that you don't have faith for other things you have you seen the paralytic walk one more will come ah yeah yeah come come he'll fix it you have faith for that but for this you don't have faith Jesus did not tell them you don't have faith at all he said in this current situation 
in the situation that you are facing in the test that you are facing you don't have faith don't you see that your faith is lacking number one because of the lack of revelation that you have amen now your revelation is only teacher you limited me to teacher but I am master I am savior I am redeemer I am friend I am king I am God hallelujah if you have seen me you have seen the father how did you forget it listen to this verse 40 then he turned to his disciples uh, later he turned first to the winds and the waves then to the disciples he says why are you so afraid haven't you learned to trust yet why did Jesus say that he said that because they heard God's word day in and day out you've been hearing God's word every week every day why do you not trust him why do you not trust him why do you trust situations why do you trust your so called so called expertise they may all fail but Jesus will never fail let your faith be tested so that you can be trusted let your faith be tested so that you can be trusted God can trust you with greater things why because 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 there was a crossover to be done and a miracle to be worked that would transform an entire city and cities and lives and families and nations hallelujah so you know something Jesus knew that it was a demonic influence that was stopping him and the disciples to go and fix someone on the other side who could not be fixed by anyone but Jesus did not want to do that alone he wanted to take his disciples Jesus doesn't want to work alone he wants to work with you and I Come on, somebody wake up this evening. Jesus is looking to walk with you and I. Mr. Busy, busy, busy. So busy. Running after money, running after name, running after fame, running after security, running after bank balance, running, 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 running. So tired. Exhausted. And when they check, there's nothing. What were you running for? Jesus told them, let's cross over. They didn't have even faith to cross over. Jesus did not tell them what's going to happen on the other side. Not at all. You know why? They would have told Jesus, you go. You go, take, take my boat. No problem. I'll fill gas, whatever you need. Salik, everything, toll. I'll pay it, top, top. Go and come. Jesus said, I want to teach you. And Jesus is still in the business of teaching you. There are some seated here and you want everything on a platter. God is calling you to become flatter. Come down. Come down. Humble yourself before Him. Worship Him. Hallelujah. Jesus dealt with fear. You know, let me tell you, there's a, there's a very thin line between fear and faith. There's a very narrow line between fear and faith and Jesus dealt with them you know I want to show you guys you don't even have the faith to cross the sea of Galilee you caught in the storm your boat is about to sink it, it, it look, did it sink? no it looks like and you believe that you're going to die because you don't have a revelation of who is with you. I am the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. You know when you have life inside you. Why do you speak death? When you have. Have you received Jesus? As your Lord and Savior? Did you confess your sins? And did you welcome his presence? Did you declare him as Lord of your life? Did you believe that he is the son of the most high God? 
he came from heaven and died on the on the cross of calvary for your sins and sins of all mankind he was buried he rose again from the dead on the third day he is alive forevermore he is seated on the throne he didn't leave you and i orphans but he gave us his spirit and that holy spirit dwells in us and you have eternal life you have eternal life you have the life of god when you have the life of god check the words that you speak are they death words we are perishing the life giver is with you in your boat it's not about a boat experience beloved it's about a life experience you have the holy spirit living holy spirit you are welcome here let me tell the holy spirit is here how many of you just want the holy spirit from 4 to 5 pm on a friday you can't bring holy spirit 4 to 5 pm on friday and then holy spirit you are welcome holy spirit when do you receive okay if you didn't know this better know this this evening the day you receive jesus let me put it this way it sounds a little blunt but sometime i have to the day you receive jesus as your lord and savior whether you liked it or you didn't like it the holy spirit came to live in you let's settle this once and for all there's no confusion i received jesus on that day then god was very happy with my performance he said i feel so bad for you now take my spirit no the holy spirit came to live inside of you and your body is a temple of the holy spirit don't speak negative words don't do things that grieve the holy spirit you cannot walk in the commanded blessing by grieving the holy spirit and jesus dealt with them how is it that you have no faith You know what is Jesus saying you've been with me so long you have heard you have seen you have experienced first hand then why is your faith lacking You see Jesus pointed to faith and he said your faith is lacking because you fear you started believing in the sea you started believing in the storm you started believing in that word that somebody said this man is come that man is come they'll do this they'll do that now the business is now your company now the school now the teacher some children dread some teachers when that class comes they tremble some tremble with the anointing some tremble with disappointing i tell you something god has never given us a spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind pray for that teacher and pray for your own self the holy spirit will i tell you this is for some child here this today even watching or here if you are here there's some subject you dread you fear ask the holy spirit the holy spirit who is here the holy spirit who lives in us the holy spirit who wants to touch you and reveal jesus to you is the one who's going to help you you'll be a topper i prophesy you'll be a topper in that subject in the name of jesus because god wants to honor you he wants to bless you he wants to use you to glorify his name faith be tested how long whenever faith is permit whenever fear is permitted faith will stop operating if you permit fear faith will stop operating second as i close second point spirit led mission always bring transformation spirit led holy spirit led missions will always bring transformation any good reason why jesus should have crossed the lake in the evening not in the morning not in the afternoon in the evening did he have like a a vacation apartment on the other side go okay i'll stay is this foxes and holes birds of the air have nests but the son of man has no place to lay his head so it's not about his favorite location it's about being led by the holy spirit holy spirit led mission will always bring transformation amen god is in the business of transformation god is in the business of delivering god is in the business of setting people free hallelujah and so jesus said let's cross over they found it difficult at last they cross over in the next chapter we read in mark chapter 5 and verse 2 as jesus stepped ashore oh he just had an uh, a storm experience he had a he had an experience with his disciples did everything look very comfortable on the sea of galilee not at all he should have said guys i had a tough day and then you also bug me in the boat so i'm taking a break shut us down no jesus was mission minded jesus was led 
by the Holy Spirit. It says, as soon as Jesus stepped out ashore, a demon-possessed madman came out of the graveyard and confronted him. You see, the demonic powers tried to stop Jesus and his disciples in the boat in Galilee. But Jesus rebuked. You have authority to rebuke every part of the enemy. Whether it's against a marriage, a marital life, your children, their studies, your health, your business, whatever. You have authority. Greater is the power of the Holy Spirit residing in you and operating in you. And that wants to operate through your life. I tell you something. The Holy Spirit can never operate through your life till the Holy Spirit does not operate in your life. So as more as you allow the Holy Spirit to operate in your life. What does that mean, Apostle? What does it sound like? Getting out of our comfort zone. Pray for somebody. I think I'm tired today. I had a tough day. Phone down. Are you ready? There is one major crossover that you have experienced and that is death to life through salvation. Now this is another crossover. Jesus by His Spirit is calling us. Are you willing? Are you willing to cross over difficult situations, challenges, hurdles, uncomfortable situations, uncertainties to go to reach out to somebody? Jesus met this man. He confronted Jesus. What happened? And Jesus set him free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He had, look at this. I want, I want you to look at this. I got like five minutes more. The disciples called Jesus. What name? teacher very interesting let's go and see what this this demon possessed guy verse 7 shouting at the top of his lungs who is this demon possessed leave me alone Jesus son of the most high God But let's let's go to let's go to verse let's go to chapter four and and see the last verse. We're going back to the disciples in the boat. Who is this man? This is a joke. Disciples, who is this man? What power he has? My God, we didn't see this thing. Demon was this man saying, "Jesus, son of the Most High God." Disciples saying, "Who is this man?" You see where the problem is. And many times we have been here. Yes. Are you there, God? Yes. God says, I will be with you till the end. Of the but are you there now? I said, I'll be with you till the ends of the ages. Do you care for me? And how are you breathing? How much did you earn to buy oxygen? I promised I'll be with you. And sometimes we behave like the disciples. Are you there? God, where are you? I feel you're some light years away. We don't know how much the distance of a light here is. But he just said, for saying we say it, we need to be careful. You see this demon possessed man, the demon spoke, they recognized who Jesus is. Disciples were still, who is this? Who is this man? Who? Bro, did you see such a, no man, I didn't see such a miracle. Wow, wow, who, who? Jesus said, forget about the miracle. I want to fix your faith. Because I'm not going to stay long with you. I am going to leave. And then you guys need to fix things. What? We? We thought we were going for a joy ride. First of all, we didn't like this storm. We know whether this side of Galilee or that side of Galilee, we'll get food. We'll get, we will be recognized. You see, their motives were different. But the day the Holy Spirit came, their motives changed because they got revelation. Hallelujah. When power from on high came, when you receive Jesus, you receive revelation. You receive the Savior. You receive the Master. You receive the Redeemer. You receive your friend. You receive peace. You receive joy. You receive hope. You receive strength. You receive salvation. You receive honor. You receive grace. You receive provision. You received every good thing that you need to live a successful life, a victorious life, and a life that will bless others you just said some time ago I am blessed to be a blessing sir is that only about money did you say that only about money if you said that only about money it means when you have surplus you will start thinking not start becoming start thinking should you bless or no 
it's about every day it was a what you speak can you speak a word of blessing over somebody hello friend i just called to tell you i bless you no holy spirit just tells me i bless there are people seated here they receive messages sometimes just a voice message just, no but i didn't i didn't ask the apostle for a prayer i didn't the holy spirit told me bless this one we are called to be a blessing hallelujah we are we have been blessed to do that he addresses jesus to be the son of god while the disciples said who can this be as i close cross over miracle worker the enemy hates every advance you make for kingdom manifestation see no doubt we are all part of the kingdom jesus is our king but the enemy hates it when kingdom power kingdom authority is manifested he hates it he hates when the those in possession are set free so he'll try to stop our focus is not the enemy our focus is our authority jesus did not look at the enemy he knew that it was demonic he used his authority and he taught his disciples and he is reminding us by the power of his spirit this evening to speak to the storm to speak he knew you see why did jesus rebuke the storm let me tell you this jesus rebuked the storm because the storm came from the enemy he did not rebuke a storm that god sent god also sends storms in your life but he will never send a storm that will stop you to bless somebody he will send a storm to test you and he will give grace to you and me to go through that situation christ in you gives you rest gives you peace are you restless come to christ come to jesus surrender when you carry peace you can speak peace if you don't carry peace you cannot speak sir you cannot you can speak but nothing will happen the first person to get frustrated will be you forget about the other person first person will be you if you carry peace you know what power you carry then you are not shaken there is no situation that is more greater than the name of jesus the power that you carry hallelujah when you carry peace you can speak peace romans 8:19 says all creation longs awaits for the manifestation of the sons of god hallelujah and so as you have crossed over from darkness to light now there are challenges in your life maybe there's someone out waiting there to be delivered with that one prayer that you pray that one word of rebuke i bind you and i command you demonic spirit get out in the name of jesus you spirit of fear you spirit of doubt you spirit of anxiety you say i'm speaking right now i'm speaking under the anointing right now you as you're watching you spirit of alcohol I command you bound and cast away in Jesus name let the holy ghost fire touch you right now and set you free no longer tobacco no longer tobacco no longer all alcohol no longer porn no longer illicit relationships in the name of Jesus I speak deliverance in the name that is high above every other name I speak deliverance right now I declare there's a crossing over because there's a miracle worker there is a miracle worker as we cross over there's a miracle waiting there's a miracle worker waiting the church is waiting. waiting the believers are waiting the saints in god are waiting the saints of the most high are waiting to declare and that is you they are you and i hallelujah i tell you something there is somebody let me tell you something as i close there is somebody whose destiny is waiting to be transformed now listen listen somebody's destiny is waiting to be transformed because God has called you to be that miracle worker in their life. It's not about one pastor, one apostle, one prophet, one evangelist, one someone somewhere. Sorry. It's about all of us. It's about all of us. You're watching it's about you. You're called, you're chosen, you're appointed, you're anointed. Don't look at these petty things. Bus is not coming, this is not coming, road is crooked. And you know, sometimes we look at all petty things and the devil is so happy you wasted your day. wake up arise for the glory of god has risen upon you 
there's darkness everywhere but the glory of god has risen upon you you can cross over you can help people to cross over from darkness to light and they are set free as i continue i declare that every illicit relationship i command be broken in jesus name every spirit of deception i command you bound and cast away in jesus name i speak right now there's somebody here there's somebody here you're finding it difficult to sleep in the night you're disturbed and the holy spirit right now is touching you and setting you free you will sleep like a little baby you will sleep like a little baby and the lord says come to him come back to him don't trust in man don't look to man you're failing day in and day out you've been failing and failing and failing and failing because you've been waiting for man you've been looking to man you've been talking about man you're trusting in man god says talk about him talk to him learn of him worship him adore him bless him praise him honor him trust in him have faith in him grow in his word and your life will never be the same hello it's not about you it's about somebody else that god wants to touch through your yielded life cross over miracle worker in jesus name if you need that breakthrough my leaders are here ready in this next one minute we are ready to serve you as i close this service in prayer father if you need prayer please come quickly we don't have much time thank you jesus father in the name of jesus thank you for speaking to us so many different areas of your of our lives have you spoken to us this evening you crossed over from heaven to earth you crossed over from death to life you invited us to cross over and you gave us your life but there are many who are lost who need to yet cross over help us holy spirit not to get stuck somewhere and start cribbing about our situation but help us to rise up in faith so that we will cross over and live as a miracle worker for the glory of god in jesus name i speak a blessing over every authority you have placed over us cities and nations are blessed governmental authorities blessed in jesus name every family blessed in jesus name and about everything i pray that lives will be transformed by the power of your spirit in Jesus name. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and until Jesus comes in all glory. Amen. God bless you.